Ladies and gentlemen, the rat problem in New York is getting worse. And the reason why the city is being overran by rats is because they're not picking the trash up like they're supposed to. And I was looking at a, a video that this black guy did and you could see him. He said, I'm going to show you how bad it is. He walked down the street and everywhere he went, there was like clusters of rats all over the place. He just walked the length of the street and you just saw him everywhere. I was like, I couldn't do it. Now I went back to see if I could find that video. I can't find it now. So I don't know if he took it down or what, but ladies and gentlemen, you see that rat they're holding up. My cat is that size, and I'm not exaggerating. A Loretta is probably that same size. That's how big these suckers are. Well, what you're looking at is a story that came out in The Guardian, December 9th, 2020. Rats besiege New York City, Chipotle, eating avocados and attacking staff. Look how big that sucker is. So they had closed the restaurant for the day and came back and the rats got in there. And this is what the avocados look like, y'all. They start going to town on all of the avocados in there. So when they came in the next day, they had to close down the food chain temporarily. But they said they were everywhere in there. When uh, the staff came in, they were in the kitchen. They had ate up all the avocados. They were even in back rooms in the restaurant. Oh, oh man. That man, if I walked into a restaurant and saw rats this big, I wouldn't be going back ever again. Oh man. But yeah, these suckers were even fighting the staff when they were trying to get them out of there. I mean, this is crazy. So they said this happened at an upper Manhattan Chipotle food chain, and they call it the food chain rats, which have been feasting on avocados and burritos. And by the sound of it, <laughs> a disturbed staff. Wow. At first glance, it might sound like small potatoes compared to the CDC had warned against New York cannibal rats because these rats are even cannibalizing each other. Oh, man. During the pandemic. But you know what? I think rats always did that, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought rats and even mice will, cannib will cannibalize each other. I, at least I thought I heard that years ago. Okay. So... Oh, man. So they saying the reason why these rats are doing this is many of them are starving. And so they're desperate and they're going into these restaurants. And this is not the only one they have entered and got into the food supply. So I don't know where y'all left the avocados, but why are you not refrigerating the avocados? That's what I want to know. Why did y'all just keep them out where rats could get them? You, you would figure if y'all were closed overnight, you would want those avocados to be stored somewhere. So they said today the rats have been running amok in Washington Heights, attacking employees, chewing through wire systems, and causing the indefinite <laughs> problem that's going on today in New York. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Although the restaurant was closed, the staff were still regularly coming in to clean in effort to help starve off the infestation. Well, I guess it didn't work if the rats got in there anyway. This includes some uh, serious survival tactics, including stomping rats. Oh, it must be really bad in order for you to resort to stomping on rats. And you got to be careful doing that because those rats will fight humans. They will. You know, that's not like some little mouse that will run and retreat. Them suckers will fight. Oh, so they had to go in even on their day off just to try to keep control over the rats coming in there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
um, they eventually made it in to, they said, the fruit, which was by their freezer area. Mm -mm -mm. And they chewed through the wiring of the computers in there so badly they can no longer handle customer orders. Damn. Oh, man. So, yeah, so they are temporarily closed at this time. Who knows when they'll be opening back up. But I tell you what, you you wouldn't pay me to go up in there. <laughs> uh -uh. You know, I think this is a sign that people need to stay out of these restaurants, especially if you're in New York and the city is still being overran by these rats. I don't know why you're, um, you know, whoever's collecting your trash they won't come up with some kind of plan and just get out there and get all that trash up because, you know, and they said that is really the key to the reason why these things are running amok everywhere. I think that's a shame. You know, if the trash is causing it, then you got to get the trash out there and you got to go on a regular basis. And my question is, what are the politicians and the mayor doing? What are they doing? Why are the people struggling with this? The people are struggling bad with these rats. I mean, you can even see Compotle Restaurant in New York City has been closed after it was overrun by rodents the size of small cats. And you know what? My cat Loretta is a small cat. She's not real big. I mean, she's full grown. But if you look at her compared to other cats, she's relatively small. You know? But, oh, man. Mm-mm. I can't believe you're even touching that thing. But y'all, please tell me what you think. It just looks like it's getting from bad to worse with these rats up in New York. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.